Hello, it's uh, time for my second Taikong Shenna video. And no, I'm honestly not just rushing my way through a knockoff video so I can get to uh, reviewing Titan's Return Misfire. Anyway, on with the review. And to start with a little contradiction of what I normally do, we're starting row up mode. Bear with me. Taikong Shenna's. What's they call this one? Ah, Robot Prime as well, but Bumblebee. And isn't that an awful looking thing? Look at that. That face is haunting. Looks like a... Like from the films, Predators. It looks like one of their masks or something with a Bumblebee vibe. It's awful. Or those voice changer helmets that look nothing like Bumblebee. But, you know. <coughs> it's awful. Just you. Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. So basically, what this is, if people don't already know, it's a really badly knocked off version of uh, the twist ones where you sort of get hold of the shoulders and you sort of flick them over and they start and they transform automatically. This, not so much. I'll show you in a minute. But we'll have a look over the robot mode first. That hand's open for some reason. This one's. Closed, but incredibly badly moulded, just like the knuckles just look like smears. There's nothing to it. And yeah. <coughs> now, <coughs> these feet are on the wrong ones, aren't they? Oh, has he got two of the same feet? No, no, they're on the wrong ones. I'll need to swap those around because it's angled that way and angled that way instead of, you know, the other way so that it'll stand flat. So they need popping off. But something that the originals didn't have. This has got articulation in the hip. And at the knee. That's actually quite impressive. I'm quite impressed with that. That's really cool. The original didn't have that. The legs were just solid pieces on the original. I will have to pop those feet out if I can. And swap those around there. Um, it's got... Um... Forward's a bit him, uh, him hindered, but it has got an elbow. So it's actually got some articulation, some posability. So, you know, fair dues to them. They've put some vague effort into tidying this thing up. But look at the legs. Ugh. Now bear in mind, these are articulated. Like the original isn't. It's baffling. Now, <coughs> as for the original, basically you got the arms out, and you twist them over, and as they twisted, it's supposed to force a load of uh, gearing and stuff in here to turn it into the car. However, I tried doing this when I first got hold of it. I thought I'd get all this stuff out of the way so it didn't interfere, and I'd try and push it around. And it doesn't do it. It, it, it doesn't do it. So he can't transform. Except he can. But you gotta do something you're not supposed to. And that is basically, you've got to disconnect this section here. Uh, where are we? Move the arm out of the way. See that? You've got to untab that piece. Uh, it sort of pegs in each side. You can just about do it. If you do that, you can transform it. It's not nice. I'll be I'll be straight saying that. But I'll try and do it. See if I can try not to break it. Come on, come on. Because basically the way it works is I don't know if this piece is on backwards. It could simply be on backwards. No, I don't think so. Basically, this big black lump catches into sort of like the back of the waist section, and because of that, it won't transform. So you've got to basically pop this piece loose. It's the only way you can do it to transform it. And I don't like doing it, but, you know, needs must. That, 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 that's one side, and if one side's out, the other should just pop straight out. Come on, there you go. So I've popped this piece out of that gap. And it doesn't put up that much of a fight. 
be honest with you. They are quite short, although they expect you to do it. Little nubbins. So that's not so bad. But now you've done that, you can fold everything off the way it's supposed to. Uh, bear in mind you've got to push the head into the back. Bring the chest plate all the way up, shift the head into the back. Fold it underneath the ribs. Uh, might as well fold these. Uh, no, they fold all the way down. Do they fold all the way down? No, they fold all the way up. Sorry, I, I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done this. Fold it all the way like this. So you end up like that. There, it's done. What do you think? I haven't done that joke for a while, have I? Bring this bonnet bit down. And then you basically just sort of fiddle with these arm pieces until it all goes down the side and there are pegs in little holes. I know this isn't a very neat video, but it's not a very neat figure. It's a peg that goes into a little hole, like that hole there, but on the, each side. So you tab, peg that in there. Push this together and there's a hole just underneath there and a big peg there. So you gotta try and peg that together. It's like I say, it's not a very neat thing. Get in here. And you peg into that and then peg into that. Everything pegged together, just about, kind of, maybe, think about it. Get in there. You in there? Are you gonna go in there? Fold the hands in, then bring these pieces around, tap them together, which again, not much fun, but you can do. The tolerances on this thing is hor are horrible. It's not a fun thing to mess with. This is why I'm struggling with it so much. There you go. There you go. It's a bumblebee. <coughs> it doesn't look terrible. Um, not sure it works, because, uh, you know, the knees are just there. No, doesn't doesn't roll. Not quite enough ground clearance. That could be because the feet are on the wrong way around. Not sure. But, um... Eggs are extinction deluxe bumblebee. So, you know... It's somewhere between Voyager and Leader. It is quite big. And it's quite weird. And uh, if I were you, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. It's funny, don't get me wrong, it's quite funny. But the quality and stuff on this one are a lot worse than even this one. This one's stupid, this one's funny. But the quality on it is higher than this thing. This thing isn't nice. Like I say, this thing's funny. But um, I'm I'm quite confident I'm going to break it. I'm I'm pretty confident. I'm I'm not even sure if it's going to transform back without shattering. So I'm not going to do that on camera because I'd cry. So yeah, that's um, yeah. It's funny. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, no, no. The fact I've got to pop that piece loose to transform it, not a fan. I know, arguably, you can say, oh, it's just part of the transformation. But I've briefly had one of the uh, flippy things in hand. I think uh, my nephew's got one. And those things are rock solid because they just flip, flip, flip. The, the, the difference in quality is astronomical. So, I'm going to call this one there. It's a reasonably quick one, but it's just... Ugh. So, I should be ugly. I should be wretched. And I shall see all of you in the next one, which will be Misfire. Ooh, Misfire. Anyway, so yeah, I, I shall probably do this tomorrow. Bye-bye!